Welcome. Welcome everyone to our liaison team meeting of SFAA. And today is a very special meeting. That's why we are recording it, uh, because we have a walkthrough with Judy Gidelson at, for the Foment exhibition of more than 80 alumni, which is so exciting. And we are thrilled, Judy, that you took that on and made such a wonderful exhibition. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Judy. Uh, Thank for the you, Marie. So, OK, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll give you a good shot of the room. And there are over 50 artists and about 100 works of art. So I'm going to flip my camera around. And we'll start with the illustrious Linda Connor and Helen Stanley and Okada and Adrian. And that is my cue with Adrian. I'm going to add your pin. So go ahead, Adrian. Let's... OK, this is a painting. I did a little series of paintings a few years ago that were inspired by a 17th century Dutch artist named Adrian Kort, because his name was kind of like mine. I thought it'd be fun to play around with the style a little bit. So some of them were shells. Some had shells and skulls, uh, glasses half full, um, but always with dramatic lighting on a stone ledge. Um, and it's about nine inches by 12 inches. Thanks, Adrian. Any questions? Are you using oils or acrylics or? It's oil on masonite. On masonite, thank you. Wonderful. Do you have a lot from them? Do you have a lot of pieces from this series? Uh, I have maybe five or six left. Good. Left? Yeah, mm -hmm. I did more and they've, you know, gone They're away. Soul. Good. Yeah. OK, great. Did you mention the title and the price? Oh, uh, the title was Mortal Coil. Mm, nice. Because of what's left behind. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, all the movement uh, with the oil uh, paintings? Do you know that in the museums, what they do for the climate with the oil uh, uh, paint? Mm -mm. No. Mm. There are just uh, um, uh, throwing um, certain, you know, I don't know, like oil and stuff like oh, that. The activists. Paintings. The Climate activists. Change. Yeah. Yes. Oh. yeah, they've been throwing soup at paintings and. Not only, yeah, and yeah. Uh, other things, at paintings at the museums. And today I heard, you know, that uh, the the granddaughter of Getty is uh, uh, sponsoring that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. No, no paint on your piece yet. <laughs> no. Yet. no. Fingers crossed. Judy, I'm going to hand it over to you again. OK, and we're going to go over to a wall with Bruce Pollock and Tom Curtis. And then I, before we get to Michael, who's on the call, I'm going to show you Dana's and turn on Dana Hoover. And excuse me for one second. I will turn it on and then we'll give it a minute. Here is Dana Hoover's. Nice. Okay, and then whose was that? That is Dana Hoover. He went to school when I did in the late seventies. And then this is Michael Pollard. Yep. I have him ready here. <laughs> so, um, you, everybody, I think almost everybody here knows me. I'm Michael, um, and um, that's. Um, uh, bottle with head or something like that. Um, you know, I 
I use a lot of found objects and um, discarded objects sometimes in my work, not all the time, but a lot of times. And uh, it's kind of a self-portrait of, 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 uh, of that. Um, you know, I'm usually wearing a baseball hat and I tend to have some sort of intense look on a lot of my work. Um, this is a piece from a couple of years ago, uh, maybe two years ago. Um, it's a, a great little bright um, piece that I like a lot. It's uh, acrylic marker and uh, discarded objects. Thanks, Michael. Any questions for Michael? Or maybe we should not do the questions so we don't really have enough time for everyone. I'm going to stop with the questions. Thanks, Michael. I we'll think we have a ways to go. At the end, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here I'm going to pull back a little bit. We've got Mike Callahan, Kelly, and, and Jack Fulton, and David Getz, and Catalina Prince. I'll show that vignette. And then I've got a vignette with Joe Ford, Alicia Trimble, uh, Bonnie, and if I pronounce names wrong, Bonnie Kane, and Lawrence White. And Lawrence White was very visible on the Zoom call and Thomas probably learned a lot or those of you that were on the Zoom call, he spoke quite a bit. And I kind of see this moment in the show and I'll pull back and show it to you as the foment moment, sort of the gathering and I told him this, but it's kind of like all roads. He's probably one of the highest pieces. So there's that view of the wall there sort of the center of the room and all load, roads leading to his piece. And then here we have, underneath Thomas, we have Horace Washington and then Thomas Houston. You wanna talk about your work, Thomas? Yeah, hi. Tom Houston here, like Texas, Houston. by the way. Yeah, that's a piece that I did. It's a plein air piece. I've done a lot of plein air painting uh, starting back in the 80s uh, when I was going to the SFAI. Uh, that's a pastel that I did on location near the Navarro River uh, in Mendocino County. We were camping and um, it's not necessarily a new piece, but it's a piece that I've always liked. And um, I thought it fit with the concept of the exhibit in terms of, of uh, capturing a particular moment, um, and which was what my plein air work is all about, capturing a moment and a feeling of a particular place, not necessarily a, um, a you know, a, a um, obvious visual representation, but more of a feeling. So that's what that's about. And I'm super stoked, I'll just say, to be showing any of my work with alumni because I've never done that before, ever. So it's it's a it's a good thing. It's a great thing. I really appreciate it. Okay, carrying on. Bing Zhang at the top and Michael Sager. Uh, Mikhail Sager, and then uh, I have to take glasses off to remember Kevin and Ekrist and William Jones and Bing Zhang again. That's that little vignette. And then we're going to the corner of this is Eve Warner. Go ahead, Eve. There we go. Um, so this piece is um, an embossment on paper. It's made with, uh, it's got charcoal, charring, smoke, and chalk on it. Prop maybe some graphite in there too. And um, I made it in 2021 when I was in my last um, on-campus summer um, at SFAI. I was in the low residency program and so was at SFAI for three not consecutive um, summers. And this was a response to the, um, I would say the obvious near death of um, impending doom of SFAI. We'd been getting messaging for over a year at this point that um, the school was gonna close, not gonna close, gonna close, not gonna get, not gonna close. 
Um, and at this point, it was in the midst of the pandemic. So this is an embossment of um, the wall along the ramp going down to the ceramic studio. And it was an empty light box. There was, I don't know how many of you have been on campus in the past few years, but it's, it's literally falling apart. It was really shoddy construction. Concrete is falling off of structural support columns exposing rebar. So I did a whole series of um, embossments on the architecture, and this was the very first one. Excellent. And I'll show you this wall, which is one of my favorite vignettes, this sort of uh, under going to Thomas and Lawrence's work there. Very nice group. Okay, and then we're proceeding on. This is Dale Hoyt's um, address to the school of or to the class to the San Francisco Art Institute graduating class of 2021 and Dale sadly passed away this year so this was brought to us by Fred Reed the next wall has Emmanuel and Maggie Viali and Marie Burskoff and if I say names wrong sorry I apologize there's that grouping. And then this is a piece of mine called Artemis Fierce Calling from a previous group. So it's sort of hung here for us all to do a fierce calling. Above the door, and sorry, my work is in the way, but above the door is Rhea Hurt and she has some more pieces. So I will show you her other pieces in a moment. Normally these easels aren't here, I move them to put them there and then this is my piece foment and it's two rocks hitting together and it's the beginning of my series called men in nature that i'm working on right now so it fomented me to go forward with a group and i just want to say i have loved doing this although it nearly it's a near-death experience in terms of how many people it is and all the administrative little details so <laughs> I look forward to uh, breathing, but other than that, I have loved putting this show together. This is Jack Johnston and Marion Wallace's work. And there's a little reflection on Marion. And then Tara Silios, Eleni, and Francis Kohler. So, Eleni, you're here, right? Yes. Go Can ahead. we see a close up of Eleni's piece first, please? I'm sorry, the glare is a little hard. Yeah. This series is ink on paper, and I've started like a seven or eight, ten years ago. I've started, I stopped painting. And uh, when I'm saying stop painting, not making art, painting. Uh, I was in abstract for many years, uh, but always the figure would come up. So I've never used uh, uh, ink and I started drawing and somehow there was a pen around and I just uh, took it for the first time and started you know, drawing with ink. And since then, these are the series of the empty dress. And at the beginning, it was monochromatic. And uh, now color came in and the flowers and collage came in. And it is a big series. I have about 200 pieces now. I don't have them all in my possession now. But um, that's what it is. And it evolves and uh, I keep working. Always I say that this is the last one and I'm, I stop here and uh, I keep going on. And then this Francis deserves a close up too because that's really nice. And then this is Rhea Hurt's work. And Rhea, I'm not sure what year she graduated, but she 
amazingly at the end of this, she emailed me and said, oh, how fantastic, I'm an SFAI alumni. And I said, well, all right, I'll, if you have a piece, you can bring it in, you know, like my last ounce of generosity. And she said, um, well, I live right next door to Main Street. And I'm like, you what? You know, nobody lives near Main Street. So Rhea Hurt moved from Brooklyn to Watsonville and now is the head of the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Art Education, both visual art and uh, uh, performing arts. And she's a real, you know, well uh, represented artist. So I'm thrilled to meet Rhea and uh, that was a real cool thing. Uh, top is Bob Sloat. These are Renee Rodriguez. This is Elaine Wander's work. Anna Sedana and Sharon Wickham. And then we go to the final wall. And we have Myra Eastman, Colin Pollard, Penelope Houston, William Jones. And then I'll pull back and this is Joan Claire DiStefano and Holly Newton and Ann Seaman, and sorry, some carpet thing started next door. So I don't know if you hear that. Bing Zhang and Joan DiStefano, and here you are, Maria. And I'll let you talk and then we'll all pull back. I gotta un unmute myself too. Yeah, thank you so much, Judy. Um, uh, I was really excited to have that piece in the show because it's kind of like, it felt like an SFAI piece. I just made it um, this year. And a lot of you know that I have a background in psychology and I came to art through art therapy. And I studied art therapy in Marin with the Tamalpa Institute. And so during the pandemic, I was able to connect with one of the teachers who did a Zoom, what I call dance group, but it's actually movement uh, drawing and and writing um, about whatever is going on so kind of like an art therapy group and I just uh, basically grabbed materials from my husband's studio and did this during that zoom group and um, it felt really raw and uh, emotional to me it has a lot of texture in it it's very hard to photograph and kind of see on zoom but it has like this pieces of fabric it's called Trio and it has these pieces of fabric and all kinds of textures in it in, in that blue on linen with folds and all. And so it's kind of like a thrown together painting. And um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy that it's hanging out there with all of you. So thank you, Judy. <laughs> You're welcome. And in real life, it's much more, oh, well, this blue looks more true to its blue than the earlier one. That yeah. Was. This looks really, this is how it looks. It's like a deep, deep blue. And um, yeah, thank you. And then I'll pull back and show this wall. And I don't know that we have other artists that I haven't shown in the group. So holler if I, this is this wall from Myra Eastman to Maria. And then we go on and there's Anna Sedana and Sharon Wickham. And this is Will Miller's work. And I'm going close on ones with detail. Here's uh, Anna Sedana and Joan DiStefano and Bing Zhang. And this is Matt Heckert. And then here's Julie Blankenship. Who I talked to Julie about her piece. So I'll give a tiny little overview. It's a pair of hands on a wall and it's probably terribly hard to photograph too so let's see if it, can you see the little hands there yes see. okay but you see me more than that and it's a brick wall and she's done collage on old photographs so it's very difficult to do on zoom but it's a beautiful intimate piece 
and above is Annie Reiniger, old, old. And then this is Risa Craig, the top salt, and Thomas Wins and Laura Pacini. And Thomas is a, a archival photograph, uh, photographic print, and it's very interesting texture. I don't know how well it's photographing, but. And then Laura Pacini, Karen Loudon, and Matt Heckert. And Risa Craig and Laura Pacini. And I'll show this kind of collection here. This is this well, and a little crookedness arrived. It was perfect. No. And then oh, that's that wall, and I'll give you a final wrap. And then my strawberry, which is Watsonville is the biggest strawberry grower in the world. So this is a welcome to Watsonville, everyone. This is the show. So it goes down this wall, walk slowly backwards. And we should probably uh, say for the viewers that all the works are for sale, right? Or most of the works, and they can reach out to you if they are interested in buying SFAI alumni work. Is that true? That is correct. And I'll probably keep the show up beyond the 3rd of uh, December. And look forward to uh, the your PDF bios being orchestrated and organized on Studio Judy G, so you can look through and see the work and read about the artists. Which so many people came in and sat with the notebooks and went through all fifty of your um, biographies, and it was really a very sweet opening. I think there were 15, 16 artists out of the 50 that were here. And I think there were about a hundred people all day. And that's the show. Wow, wonderful. Um, are, are there any um, final comments from any of the artists or from Judy before we close the video um, for the viewers? Is there anything that you would like to comment or I just want to thank Judy for doing this. This had to be yes. a ton of work. So it's kind thank of nice you. for all of us to sort of be together thank in our you. artwork in this space. So thanks, Judy. Absolutely. So you're welcome. It was a really thank tender, you. it was really tender. And um, the labels are what killed me. And that's why the Zoom started late. And a friend came in and said, well, I'll just hand. So we had 10 of you who were just handwritten. But uh, thank you so much. I really. I, I welcome you all to visit with the show or after the show. And the emotion that was uh, brought in the room because of it was really sweet. So thank you. Good job. That's awesome. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. This is this feels so great. It feels like being at home all over again and with our yeah. colleagues and looking at art in this manner uh, from afar, but still connected through through uh, internet, it's uh, to be assumed. It's really, really, really amazing to be connected this way. So thank you. And I want to say I have sold three works. So you know, send your loved Woo! ones. Or awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Bravo. Yeah, I feel I feel also like the to to have the work together. It 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 feels like a different way of connecting because we usually connect like here in the liaison team on Zoom, but we we rarely actually talk about our work because we organize things and we mm -hmm. think about how we can get people together. And Judy, the way that you brought people together through the artwork 
through bringing the artwork together was really beautiful and oh thank you uh, and it really feels like it could be a way for other liaison um you know members in other areas you know to to kind of like have like a almost like a template on how this could be potentially done with a lot of patience and a lot of energy right <laughs> But um, yeah. yeah, thank you so and much, Judy. And um, we can think of of uh, ways to support someone, you know, that does that. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And well, Thomas great. was Thomas was a phenomenal shoulder to cry on, and we. <laughs> <yelled> <laughs> and oh joyful. man, it was my and pleasure. You, it was a joy to help. So uh, yeah, super exciting and. Um, it, uh, you know, when something's super inspiring and joyful, it doesn't feel like work. And I know it does for you, but, uh, you know, for, to, for me to be a helper was, um, it, it was great. I really appreciated the opportunity. Wonderful. Well, Thanks, Thomas. And Julie Blankenship brought in probably a half a dozen artists on her own, cool. just, you know, throwing yeah. them in. So that was really good too, Julie. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be there if uh, it wasn't for Julie because she printed my work. Yeah, and, uh, she printed it, and I'm thankful. Yeah, and she said, uh, "Elena, you have to do this." So awesome, wonderful. Yeah. So and shout out to Julie as well. Um, and I love talking to each of you about your work. That was really a treasure, really special. Wonderful. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to only stop the video. We're going to hang out a little longer, but uh, bye and farewell to all the viewers. And please get in touch if you have any questions, either with us, info at sfartistsalumni.org or with Judy Gittleson. Can you tell, can you say your email real quick? Um, me at Judy G. You can probably find things easiest on studiojudyg.com, S-T-U-D-I-O-J-U-D-Y-G.com. And we're going to put it in the, in the um, comments as well. So for the viewers, you can easy, easily find the contact information. All right. Bye, everyone. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. I'm going to stop the video.